All right, guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to February update february's vlog i know we're technically in march but it's for the month of february and for the first time in about four years i am following through with that january promise and i'm coming at you with even more vlogs uh, i know a lot of guys like it when i do vlogs and um, i think it's a good way for me to sit down and give you guys an update of what's been going on behind the scenes because not everybody knows as well as sort of me taking a step back and thinking what did I do in that month and what did I achieve so yeah I think it's a good good way good format I still want to carry this on through the year so um, hopefully every month this year I will be able to bring you a brand new vlog we're going to kick off today's vlog with an update on my sort of weight loss pro progression and how I'm actually doing this year so if you didn't know and if you didn't go and watch the previous video but we are doing Slimming World we are doing something about both physically and sort of mentally and when the previous vlog came out, I'd just been and got weighed. That was the 3rd of February, and we were sitting pretty at one stone, two and a half pounds of weight loss. This is before I've been. This is before, uh, this is on, before I go, I go in about two and a bit hours to go get weighed. So I don't know the full extent of things. But in February, we have lost an additional eight and a half pounds, bringing our total at the minute to one stone and 11 pounds. Um, not only that, we have continued to rack up the awards. Hopefully I'll uh, put an image on the screen, but um, we are now three times slimmer of the week, two times slimmer of the month. We've got um, body magic, bronze and silver. We've got awards for stones, for a stone and a half. Hopefully when I go today, I will get at least one Hopefully, if I've been really going to put the extra effort in this this week, um, there's a potential for two. So, my first certificate I should, or first award I should say, that I should get this week is for uh, what they call the Club Ten. So, what that is is that is me losing ten percent of the body weight I started. Uh, I started slimming well with basically. So, at the minute when I started my journey, I was eighteen stone six. My club 10 is 16 stone 8. I was one pound off last week from getting the club 10 award. But um, fingers crossed um, this week I have done enough. If I can lose three pounds, then that will get me my two stone award, which is absolutely mad because that means I'm only 13 pounds overall off my target weight, um, which I've set at the minute at 15 and a half stone. So I just I've, my target is to lose two stone 13 pounds, so one, one pound under uh, three stone for now. I'm probably going to extend it further, but I think getting to that point first and then having a little break or just, you know, just chilling out for a bit, not being so strict because I think once you, once you get to your target with Slimming World, you have kind of like a three pound either side. So when you get to target, you basically become a target member and then going to group becomes free. You don't have to pay anymore. And you're allowed to stay even within a, a sort of like a six pound radius where your target sits in the middle. So you're allowed to be up to three pounds heavier or three pounds lighter. If you're outside of those brackets, you then have to start paying again. But I think it's good just to have a few weeks sat in that target period just to sort of, you know, not have as much pressure on myself. I won't call it pressure because I'm really enjoying it. And this so far, this journey has really got me motivated. I'm doing so much more exercise. I want to give a shout out to... Um, Another streamer, another YouTuber, speedrunner by the name of Subsonics. He's also a fellow Twitch DJ. Of um, we we often um host and and swap by. But it was back at the back end of last year, and Subsonics has been going through a tough time um, with different bits of pieces. I won't go into that. But he used to tweet a lot that he was going out for walks and things. And towards the back end of last year, I was like, you know what, I'm going to go out for walks. And it was just seeing that motivation of somebody else doing it that sort of got me hooked. And ever since then, I have out on a daily walk pretty much every day, Monday to Friday. So Saturdays and Sundays are a little bit awkward because of um, kids and Katie working and, and doing different bits and pieces. But yeah, every day I go out for a walk in the morning. If I can't get in the morning, I'll go out at lunch. If I can't go out at lunch, I'll do like an, an indoor walk for half an hour. I've got my exercise bike and I'm really sort of, I am really focused and motivated. But I wouldn't say it's a chore by any means, because I really enjoy doing it. And it's just, it is starting to feel like part of my everyday life. So, um, but it, it'd be nice just to sort of not have to worry about hope I'm going to lose enough this week or blah, 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 blah. Because at the minute, I've not had a week where I've put on weight either. So everything has been going really well. Um, also, 
Katie's doing it with me as well, and bless her cotton socks, she goes through the mill, and she has good weeks and bad weeks. But I try and look, tell her to look at it from the bigger picture. So in eight weigh-ins, she has lost, um, I think it's 16 and a half pounds, which is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal, because that works out about two pounds of weight loss a week. But she has these weeks where she only loses tiny amounts and then she gets really frustrated. But again, I try and tell her to look at the bigger picture. A, you lose an average of two pound a week. And B, you haven't actually put on in those eight weeks. You've always you've lost every single week. You haven't had a week where you've put on. Um, but bless her cotton talks, she does get quite upset about it and she doesn't see the point. And I just kind of try and get her going, give her the motivation she needs to keep going. But um, yeah, we, we're both doing really well and I'm, I'm really proud of what um, Katie has achieved as well as myself. Hopefully I've also put some pictures somewhere of like starting i don't know what to do with my hands starting out and um where i am today i did take a picture just before i started this so hopefully i've got some graphics and bits and pieces on the screen for you so let's talk about what's been happening on the channels um gaming wise so this month has been a very interesting month i will admit that i'm still not putting out the volume of portal videos that i would really like and um that's partly because I'm hooked in playing Celeste again. So um, I am going for Goldberry runs on all the levels. So for people that don't know Celeste, Celeste is a basically a hardcore platform adventure game where you have to um, navigate difficult screens and ultimately your goal is to reach the top of the mountain. Um, but then there are hard levels and even hard levels and then there are things called Goldberries. So Goldberries is where you have to do the whole level without dying. And they are pretty tough. But this month, I've really sort of got back into Goldberries and um, we are been hitting that hard. So I think I've been spending a lot of the limited lunchtime recordings at like time I get um, doing those Goldberry runs and not really doing anything else. So um, I am going to get back to Portal though real soon. Uh, but at the minute, it's just been Goldberries. We have got, I think so far, we've got up to temple on a side which is five and then an additional one which so we've got six out of 24 or 25 so we're almost a third of the way through the goldberries but they do take so much time because you have to learn the level um and then even when you've learned the level and you know where you're going it's still very easy to make silly mistakes then you basically sent back to the beginning of the level and you have to do it all over again so i really think by now i should be nailing reflection um but yeah it's just the silly mistakes which are creeping in then after reflection is summit and summit is going to take quite a while because of summit is an absolute beast you've you've got to go through all the level kind of segments before you get to the actual 30 flag summit uh climb as well so um i think summit could take a good month month and a half of actually attempts to uh to get that done but we'll see but um yeah, that's. I think that's one of the reasons I've not been kind of putting out as many portal maps. My request queue is massive. Thank you very much, everybody, for still sending in those maps. Um, I've had one for Mike Astro, which I've been sort of started playing. And it's just been sat there for about two and a half weeks. And I've not yet been back to it, so I apologize about that. Hopefully, I'll get back to it this week. But after March, my availability at lunchtime should then free itself up again. And I should have more time during the week because the... Um, the thing we're doing for Evan at the minute should finish at the end of March. So going into April, we should be back at four days a week of um, sort of lunchtime recording. And then that should help me to kind of like try and build a backlog. But once again, I don't want to get bogged down with it. And I don't want to go in as heavy as I did before because um, it can get too much of a burden, too much. And then, uh, yeah, it's just absolutely craziness going on. Um, as well as that then... Some of you may have noticed there have been a lot of Worms Reloaded videos going up. So let me explain what's been going on. Um, back at the back end of January, we did a live stream and we played some Worms Reloaded. And we, me and Deathwish were jokingly, we were, we were messing about just sort of like commentating it. And he was like, oh man, you, you know, you did such a good job. You should really do that. I said, well, next time you and a load of crap play, send me over the footage I'll watch it blind and commentate live over the top. And I don't know, it just sort of turned into this kind of like February league kind of thing that uh, I just sit here and watch their commentary and um, commentate what's going on. And then um, there's, I've just 
there's a little sort of league table to see who comes out on top. And to be fair, it's, it's actually turned out pretty well. Um, I've had some really positive comments from people that have watched it. If you haven't watched it, I just really suggest you go and check it out. I'd really appreciate some feedback, actually, as to what you think of my commentary, whether you think I should sort of carry on doing it, whether there's things I could improve, whether I could sort of go out and try different games. I've also kind of like tried to add some like production value to it as well with sort of like um, on-screen graphics and things during the maps. And some of the... Um, some of the, not the latest, the last two that I did, but certainly, but the ones before have kind of like random stats and random facts that pop up as well, just to sort of like add to the production value a bit. So I'd be really interested to hear what people genuinely think of those videos um, and any any feedback that would like, that would could come back to me to sort of improve those videos. Also, if you have Worms Reload yourself and you want to get involved, just let me know in the comments or if you've got me on Steam or socials or whatever, just send me a message and um, we'll try and get you sort of involved with those as well. I know there's a few people in the community that do play Worms Reload, do own it, and it would be really good to see um, a few more kind of participating in that if possible. As well as Worms, we have been continuing our DJ and we actually uploaded for the first time in a long time a full funky house dj set um the other week if you haven't seen that please go and check it out yeah i'm still sort of really loving my new equipment i'm branching out into different genres that i normally wouldn't dj i think i'm for i'm I'm falling in love with the, the funky house it's just something about funky music which is really good especially when you uh, are DJing it I've also been doing some trance sets as well not everything is on my mix cloud I don't upload everything to there there are some VODs on my Twitch as well although Twitch does have a nasty habit of muting a lot of them so that's not particularly great if you're trying to listen back but um, yeah still absolutely loving the DJ and stuff and um, that's pretty much what we've been doing um, in terms of streaming and videos because the streaming has been less stuff uh we have done something else though as well this month and we are starting to go back to take a look at unity stuff so i created a uh pong based game um in unity following some tutorials and some different bits and pieces and i honestly say i kind of back in the game development bug i did do a game development stream this month trying to create my own version of breakout based on what I learned from making the Pong game. Unfortunately, didn't quite work out, and we got the ball. We got the ball and the paddle and the bounds, everything. The ball was moving, but the, the ball movement and bouncing off the walls wasn't quite right. I don't think I quite have enough um, knowledge as to what I need to do on those just yet. But as well as that, I've also been taking a look and starting to learn how to, I suppose you could say, um, draw pixel art. So... I'll put some examples on the screen, but I've been doing some very basic stuff. I've been doing kind of like tiles and walls for a um, like a, a, the outline of a, a dungeon map or, or something similar. I've also had my first attempt at like creating a character, which over several iterations turned into kind of like a bit of a pirate looking character. Again, I'll, I'll try and put um, images on the screen. But yeah, I've also... So I've... Kind of taken a step back from doing the Unity stuff at the minute to sort of focus on doing the and learning how to create the art kind of side of game development. So I think for the Unity side, it's just about learning how to use the editor because I work in C Sharp every day. I don't think the code side of it is really something that I need to put a lot of time in, maybe as much as other people. But definitely for the um, art style, I am not an artsy person at all, and I. Um, have to say it's a very weak subject for me i i don't consider myself the most creative of people in in an art form um hence why i kind of struggle sometimes when i've wanted to make portal maps in the past i've really struggled for ideas to come up with the actual puzzles but yeah i think i'm just co constantly like chipping away at um a pixel art style because i think if i make a game that will be in uh the the right art style to choose from from myself so Stay tuned, though. I'll, I'll keep doing stuff throughout the month, and hopefully when we come back to the vlog um, this time next month, everything will be um, a little bit more progressed, and um, yeah, we'll have come up with a lot more stuff. 
But guys, thank you very much, everybody, for watching this February update. We made it to month number two with a vlog. I am so, so happy with myself. You cannot understand for the first time. Like I said at the top of the video, for the first time in four years, I've actually kept a promise, and we have a second vlog for the year. Let's keep this momentum going through the entirety of 2020. But more scarily, wow, we're already at March. Crazy. Um, birthday this month, so um, yeah, we're turning 35 this month, which is... Um, still not as old as my wife, but <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I don't know how the weight loss will go towards the end of the month because I know we're going out for Chinese food and things for my birthday, but um, yeah, uh, good times ahead. Thank you very much for everybody's support through everything. I really appreciate everybody's like really um, supportive and they've always know the right things to say. So I appreciate that across all my socials. You guys are absolutely awesome. Stay classy, have a great month, and I will catch you at the end of March, beginning of April. Bye.